That really puts a big question mark over all the reports that he has passed away. So Carlos, I'm right going to cut you off because uh, mm -hmm. we do uh, have now word, according to the Los Angeles Times, the Los Angeles Times is reporting that Michael Jackson has died. Los Angeles Times well, saying go. Michael Jackson has died, 50 years old. Uh, the Times had been reporting as of just a few minutes ago. He had been in a coma again, um, but that is at this point irrelevant. Michael Jackson, according to Los Angeles Times, uh, has died at the age of 50. Um, for immediate it's, reaction, let's go to uh, NBC's Dan Abrams, who has also covered uh, Michael Jackson for many years. And uh, Dan, your reaction? Okay, actually, actually, let's go to what. Uh, Let's go to uh, Courtney Hazley. Courtney, uh, the LA Times reporting that he has died. Um, I wonder if you could put this in some sort of immediate sort of Guys, perspective. Guys, the LA Times reporting he's dead. Uh, yeah, David, I, I can definitely put it in perspective for you. For the LA Times to be reporting this, I, I would say that is the most credible source you have to go with who has the greatest number of people on the ground. That, that would be the LA Times. And, uh, it, this is so shocking. I mean, even for you and I, we've been covering this since news first broke that he was taken to the hospital. I, it's it's really hard to wrap your brain around this, especially since I know people who were literally dealing with his management hours ago, trying to work out uh, you know some additional tour dates and and some some more appearances. Uh, Michael Jackson, by all accounts, the people I spoke to within his circle was full of life up until this point. He had been wanting to add rehearsals to his day. He'd been completely enthusiastic, not struggling with rehearsals for his upcoming concert series in London. This comes as an absolute, absolute shock. And I think uh, some people might seem incredulous about that, that uh, given his frail appearance and the fact that he was so reclusive and, and truthfully just a, a man who was, who was very, had bizarre habits, let's, let's just be honest about it, uh, a lot of people would say, well, of course he wasn't in good health. But the truth of the matter is the people closest to him were, were adamant that he was in great shape. So this is a tremendous shock. Tremendous. Let's go to uh, NBC's uh, Dan Abrams, who also spent uh, a big part of his career in Los Angeles and at times covering uh, Michael Jackson. Uh, Dan, the news that uh, Michael Jackson has died, um, I imagine a shock for everybody. But uh, your immediate thoughts? Uh, David, you know, as we talk about the, the, the gathering of information when it comes to Michael Jackson, it's really not surprising we've been getting conflicting reports because the, the spokespeople for Michael Jackson have always notoriously, um, you know, let's just say not always been straightforward about his health, his condition, what he said, what he hasn't said. Um, so that has always made it difficult. Uh, reporting on information with regard to Michael Jackson is always why there's been um, in, enormous rumors uh, circulating about him because we've often had a lot of trouble getting very clear and accurate information from a lot of the people who uh, are his spokespeople. With all that said, the fact that now there appears to be confirmed reports of, of Michael Jackson's death, look, of course it is shocking. Um, he has always looked extremely frail. I can tell you that having sat with him in that courtroom day after day, looking at him, he always looked 